Well, according to the contractor, Sino Hydro works on Karuma Hydro Power Dama in advanced stages, and very soon three units, each adding 100 megawatts, are set to be commissioned. Uh, we have reached at the point of this project where we are now doing dry tests. What that implies is that uh, installation works are complete, and therefore we hope to meet the target set in our schedule. Our first unit is expected to come online in October, and then November and the subsequent month of December. That will add a total of 300 megawatts to the grid. And then the other subsequent units will follow into the year 2023 in January, Feb, and March. Uh, commissions, the drug commission is already committed to 40% allowance. So we are confident for first unit can be comm commissioned in Utah. Intent, commitment, and assurance from the ground players at Karuma indicating that Uganda's flagship hydropower project is on course. According to the contractors, work on the dam is now at 99%. Engineer Paul Tumine from the Uganda Electricity Generation Company explains what entails the remaining 1%. So the 1% we are talking about is ensuring that the equipment installed and designed are tested and passed. So the key word there is passed. So there will be rigorous tests undertaken on this equipment and once that is passed, that 1% uh, comes through. The project manager from Shino Hydro highlighted the delays on the project, attributing them to the COVID-19 pandemic. The People's Republic of China's ambassador to Uganda stressed that all efforts will now be geared towards the fruitful completion of the project. We have toured this uh, site uh, and uh, I find that there are a lot of progress, real progress has been made and uh, I'm more than happy, more than anxious to see the completion of this uh, flagship project between China and Uganda and uh, I'd like to see that it will bring more uh, real benefits, real impact on the social economic development of Uganda. Karuma Hydropower Dam's construction started in 2013, and since then, this project has been met by delays and difficulties. However, once online, the dam will add 600 megawatts onto Uganda's national grid. When power goes off, everybody remembers what the president has been saying, that soon we are having excess power. We will be supplying to neighbors in the region. And once power is off, it's very difficult to be convinced but from what we've seen, the figures we've been told, the facts on the ground, I think it is soon happening.